All right, with this video, we're gonna show you guys how to test the RPZ ASSC 1013 using the USC 10th edition test procedures. Um, although most USC test procedures not including the RP are only with one hose, these actually do include three hoses. And we're gonna be using a two valve test kit. It's the Kruger Instruments TK2. Uh, it's just a standard two valve test kit. So we got three hoses, two valves, an RP, so let's get into the test. Uh, we also have a, a flathead screwdriver to operate the test cock. So you open test cock for, first test is to test, is to flush your test cock. So you open four, three, two, one. Close one, two, three, four. You do that so you don't jump the relief valve um, prematurely. So all appropriate fittings, we already have them installed, but depending on what kind of uh, gauge you, or what kind of, what size preventer you might be testing, you might need some kind of adapters. Then we have the kit, hoses, good to go. You attach a hose to the high side of the kit and test cock two. Attach a, lo a hose to the low side of the kit and test cock three. All kits have a high and a low side. They're almost always the left side's the high, the right side's the low, but that's not all, that's not 100% the case, but it's almost always. Then you wanna bleed the hoses and the kit. So you open test cock three, open low bleed, open test cock two, open high bleed, then while they're running, you shut shut off two. Then you close the high bleed first. Then you close the low bleed. And it'll drop right down to a pressure. That you don't take that pressure yet because it's not it, it could be running through the shut off two. But if it's steady, then you know it's tight. You know the shut off one, a check valve one at least is, is tight with the differential pressure. So the first test is the relief valve opening point. So you attach another hose to the low side of the kit. Open, low bleed, you bleed the water through. Close low bleed, attach the other side of the hose to the high side of the kit. Open high valve one full turn open low valve a quarter turn you'll see the pressure going down then you put your hand under the vent and when you feel water coming out that's your relief valve opening point so 3.6 has to be at least two then you close both bleed valves and detach the bypass hose from the low side. So leave it attached to the high. So that's the relief valve opening point. Test two is the tightness of check valve two. You attach the bypass hose to test cock four. Open test cock four. Close low bleed or open low bleed, close low bleed. You get it reset to the higher side, to the um, to the correct reading. So we're reading what nine ish, nine point oh. Then you open high bleed, and there will be some disc compression. You'll see it go down a little bit, but if it's if it drops and it and then becomes steady then you know check valve two is tight against back pressure. So it's, it's steady at about 8.2. Then you wanna get the, tight, the tightness of check valve one. So you open low bleed, close low bleed, get that correct reading. It's jumping because of pressure fluctuations. So the reading's about 8.4. So those are the three tests. You got 
relief valve opening point, check valve two against back pressure, and check valve one differential pressure. So that now you're done, close all test cocks. Remove all equipment. Then open shut off valve number two. 